Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I just saw the cutest thing. The ducks are swimming in a puddle. Isn't it adorable? Oh my gosh. The ducks are so much fun. They have a swimming pool. We just filled it yesterday or the day before. But they're loving this. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. It's pouring rain. It's been raining all day. Like literally pouring rain. I love rainy days though because it gives you an opportunity to catch up on stuff. Like I really need to clean this room. It's just a disgusting mess. Sam and Sophie have gone on a little field trip. Gabby's not home from school yet. So I'm all alone on the day by day farm. That never happens. Nobody is happy on the farm today. Everybody's trying to get some relief from the rain they're trying to get shelter and you all know stormy boy is not gonna not about to be outside in that rain nobody likes the rain so we all of the horses are in i love that you guys are in i know you love rubs huh <laughs> she's like did you guys hear oh not him don't pay attention to him look at her hair <laughs> oh my goodness this horse loves her girl while Sophie's away, I wanted to tell you guys something. It's kind of a secret and it's for Sophie and it's for her birthday. And, and it's about her birthday. I wanted to tell you guys what I bought her so far. I haven't finished shopping for her, but I did buy her something. Sam and I bought her something that I think that she'll like. And I don't want her to know. And she doesn't watch the videos. She's in the video. She knows what happens all day. So she doesn't watch the videos. So. Why do you always have to pee when I'm videoing? I swear Penny's over there looking at, given she's got like her ears pinned, she's so mad because I'm loving on Storm. So anyways, you guys know, this summer we took over the lease of Lady. Um, and what you don't know is that very soon after we started leasing her, I decided to buy her. I just decided like, the love and the confidence that this horse has given Sophie is worth her weight in gold. And before I was so worried about like another Chino situation. I was so stressed from a Chino situation that I felt lost and worried about buying another horse. But a few months ago, we bought Lady. Very soon after we started leasing her, we bought her. We decided to buy her and Sophie doesn't know. She has no idea. So I want to surprise her with that on her birthday. If you guys don't know, her birthday is in October. So it's coming up really soon. She has no idea. I always say things to her like, you know, Sophie, we have to figure out if we're going to buy her. And so, but I always tell her that she's not going anywhere. So she knows that we're going to buy her, but she doesn't know that we already did buy her. In fact, she doesn't even know that we've owned her for a long time now, but even if Sophie didn't want this horse, didn't love this horse, this horse is a part of our herd, you guys. I'm trying to stand against the fence and she's nibbling at my belly. You got all wet? Oh, Lady's not going anywhere. She's Sophie's, but Sophie doesn't know it yet. So there are, other, there are a few other things that I wanna buy her for her birthday. I don't know yet what we're gonna get her. I'm gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Since she already has the horse, which she doesn't know about, I'm, I want like horse related items to buy for her. Like, she has a halter. She got that at the very beginning. She has brushes. She has like all that stuff. And I feel like she's grown past that age where she gets excited about just getting some brushes. I know she wants a bridle. I know she needs a saddle. And we're kind of waiting for Lady to build up um, for that. But anyways, comment below what you think I should get for them. Like something special. Something like... Like, this isn't just a horse. This is so much more. Like when you're... When, when they were little and we bought them horses, it was different, like it was different. This is, this horse is, the age that Sophie is at now, there's horses so much more. It's like, this horse is confidence, it's love, it's, it's, she's just so much more than just a horse. And she really loves Sophie, you guys. Like she looks for her. Honey and Lady have similar personality types in terms of how much they love their owner. You love Sophie? 
And she's probably thinking like, where the heck is Sophie? Why isn't she here? But anyway, the secret's out. We bought Lady, we made the choice to buy Lady soon after we, after we started leasing her because we knew it was right. We knew she was right. And we're gonna surprise Sophie on her birthday. Even the turkeys are drinking from that pool now. They have a whole bucket of water over there. Isn't that funny? Turkeys like water. Like our, our chickens don't typically go in the water. They don't go in the pool, but the turkeys go in the pool. <laughs> She's like, is there worms in here? I love the turkeys. One good thing about all this rain is that the goats, even though they're in heat, goats are terrified of rain. They hate rain. They, even one drop hits them, like I swear, storm is part goat. One drop hits them and they just go right to their to their shelters. So the goats are not out doing anything crazy today. I'm not having to worry about them breaking out of their shelters. Hi, huh, baby turkey. Oh my goodness, you're just so cute. It's funny how as you get older, you're able to appreciate things on a whole different level. It's okay. Oh, you're all wet. I don't want to get it in your, in your, to down to your skin. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. But I'm loving the rain now. Like I love being out here. I love just, I don't know. It's just glorious. I can't wait for winter. And when it gets cold, I can't wait to see if I love that. Like something happened to me this year. I got hit by a love area. I got hit by a love arrow and I just love everything so much more now. Like I listened to this song at the beginning of the summer about hating stuff and like how people spend so much time talking about all the things they hate when the world is so full of amazing things and it just changed my focus so much. Like I just started to be able to see all the things I love so much clearer and I hardly even see the things. And the things I used to hate, like three days of rain, I love it now. Like I actually love it. I love like that, I don't know. I, I just see things so differently. I wish that for everybody. Stop seeing the things that you hate, guys. And start seeing the things that you love. It's actually kind of incredible how like bad weather calms everybody down. I could just watch them forever in that little puddle. Look at how cute they look. shock to me over the lot since we started this channel we started this channel it was about getting horses it was about getting our kids horses and learning the whole horse thing and then when for the first like five years six years it was all about horses but now we've opened up this whole new world with all these different animals and every animal that we've added has just given me so much more happiness and so much more enjoyment it's literally like I didn't, I knew, like I always wanted to be a farmer and Sam always wanted to be a farmer. We always wanted to be a farmer together. And, but there were years where I thought like, oh no, that'd be way too much work. It's not too much work. 
It's literally the best thing that we ever did. Yeah, we know it's raining and the girls are hiding out. What? Hey, what's the matter with you? No girlfriends? Got kind of a deep body, which I love. Horses are down here eating the grass. Pig is inside. Everybody was in, they were all inside when I came down. Hi, Piggy. <laughs> you don't like the rain either? Hi, baby. Hello. Yes, I know. You're a sweet boy. I just want to do a quick check on these sweet girls. Make sure they're all okay. There's a, whore, a goat behind me trying to, uh-oh. <laughs> trying to get in. Everybody is accounted Everybody is accounted for. Sometimes when I need to see in there, I just peek through this little hole. One, two, three, four. Even little Posey is in there. All is good on the day-by-day -day farm, you guys. Check complete. It is hours later and it is still pouring. Terrible day. Hi, <laughs> babies. You're so cute. Earlier, I... Anyways, earlier, I look outside, I always check. Even if I don't come down here, I'm always checking. So I look down and the pig was like going back and forth along the fence line. Like he was doing hops and flips and jumps. I'm like, what the heck? So I stood and I watched for a few minutes and then, I'm, and then I saw something small on the other side of the fence. I saw something small on the other side of the fence, but I couldn't see what it was because the grass was too high. I'm 90% sure that it was her and that she was in heat. Nothing else can make him do flips the way, oh, she's in heat. Wow. She's for sure in heat. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna mark this down. So, because when she got sick, I just had it in my head, maybe she could have got pregnant through the fence which I doubted. I doubted it, but I just wanted to see <laughs> for sure she's in heat, so that means that she didn't, there's no chance that she could be pregnant. Go to your stall, Piggy. Don't Go. Don't let her in if she's in heat. Why? Don't let him in if he's, she's in heat. I won't until she's in her stall. Here, go closer in, go closer in. What a good girl. <laughs> I can, let me get your water bucket out. So anyways, we're putting everybody to bed early tonight because we're gonna go to the movie theater because it's been raining. The girls have been back to school. Just been a yucky, boring day. It happens and that's okay, but you guys know I read a lot. Like a lot. Come watch my movie, you'll love it. What is it? Go ahead. What is it? It ends with us, Colleen Hoover. Ellie. I'm not watching that. Well, I mean, Dad, you're watching, but she was so excited about it. And I didn't want to pick movies, so I just told Dad, whatever Dad wants. Yeah, Gabby's, Sylvie's just gonna go and see whatever Gabby wants. But anyways, back to me reading a lot. I used to read this author, Colleen Hoover, years ago, like when I was probably in my 30s. One of her books uh, was made into a movie, so I've been dying to see it. I've been dying to see it. And then it seems like, let's just go. We'll watch a movie. And I said, okay, let's go. Oh, you know what happened? Ellie scared him. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. Look at how much there. thinner he is. He's gonna plump it's, up. Just wait for it. He's gonna be. He looks perfect. Up. Get it? Perfect. Anyway, uh, so what would you want for your birthday? What are you looking for? Anything for your birthday this year? Um, some stuff for my horses. Like what would you? Oh, for all your horses? Like well, I can't just get it for one. What's on your list? Um, like a bridle. I need. I want halters. Like let me halters for the minis. For the minis? Yeah. Do you need anything for Lady? You need a new saddle. I don't know if she's ready for that yet, though. I like my saddle. Um, a bridle, though. What if we got the same saddle? Just custom to her and you. Again. I'm not getting rid of my saddle. It's Finn's saddle. There's no way I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, well, that's the thing, though. You can keep the saddle forever. You just have to get a new one. Yeah. But getting a new one doesn't mean you have to get rid of the old one. I'm going to end today's video right now. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit short, but... We're just gonna go and enjoy the night. And normally I don't like popcorn, but I'm craving it, so I'm excited. That is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?